Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Quali Pops. My name is Charles Xavier, and today we are going to be creating two versions of a green witch. We got a cute and we got a terrifying version. Oh god, both of these versions are gorgeous, so let's get started. Now before we begin, make sure you hit that like button and if you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. I post two videos a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. You'll be notified when each video comes out. To create this cake, I am starting with a terrifying version. So I'm starting with a 10 inch round cake and I'm just carving just a little bit to kind of narrow her chin. I want her to have a really big head but a really tiny chin. I feel like that's what a lot of witches look like. Don't worry too much about symmetry, she's ugly. Symmetry is nowhere on ugly. <laughs> we got the basics going on. Isn't it funny that it's like a funfetti cake? It's so ugly on the outside, but on the inside it's so beautiful. Oh, look how precious that white icing looks. Now I didn't flatten this cake out completely because this is kind of a 3D cake, I wanna make sure that I'm utilizing as much of my cake as possible. So I'm just rounding down the sides just a little bit, cutting around the cake to get her eyes and her mouth. Again, don't be, don't obsess about like the symmetry. It's ugly, she's ugly, she's got so many warts. Now I gave this baby a crumb coat and then I placed it in the fridge to set for about 45 minutes. And while it was setting, I decided to work on the cute version of my green witch. And this I kind of did with one swoop. Now I'm just using an egg shaped cake. That way I can create the witch's hat and the face at the same time without actually having to use two cake pads. Again, cake basics. This actually makes sense to have it be funfetti because it's cute. So it's cute on the outside, cute on the inside. Now, what is our witch's name, by the way? Like a Helia, maybe? <laughs> Helia the Green Witch. Okay, let's do Helia. Now, for this cake, I wanted this green to be a lot brighter than the one that I used on the terrifying version. So I'm using a look of the Irish. Not muted at all. It's very, very green, very bright green. I wanted this to have a lot more color, so I'm using purple to create the witch's hat. Definitely a lot more color, especially with her hair. It's not like blonde, patchy blonde. It's it's like an autumn orange. Oh, I like that. I'm going to trademark that name. Now, because she is kawaii, her eyes are very simple to make. I'm just doing gray eyes because there's so much color on the rest of the cake I didn't want the eyes to be like overkill you know sometimes I overthink everything and I didn't I want I want to make sure I didn't do that with this cake just a little bit of texture to create her hair ooh that hair looking good then I'm just finishing her hat. She has a medallion. I gave her a little gold medallion. She's liking it. That's why she's smiling. Now we're adding a little bit of light and dark to add some depth to her eyes and then giving her the witch's brim. The brim of the hat for the witch. Look how cute that is. I did have a little bit more space on my cake board, so I'm giving her a cloak and I thought it'd be really cute if she had a bow. Yo, this witch's outfit is really nice. Oh, look at that. And I'm adding more detail. I forgot about this part. Oh yeah, that's right. I gave her eyelashes and then I gave her this itty bitty nose. She had to have some sort of a nose because the nose on the terrifying witch is huge. Yeah, I love the way this came out. Simple but satisfying. If you're doing a kid's cake and you don't want to scare them with what's on the dining room table, then create this cake. But if you want to terrify your kids, let's get back to my scary witch. 
So I wanted to emphasize more details on my cake and I'm just doing that by highlighting her eyebrows, like her brow bone, her cheekbones, her nose, and her chin with a little bit more green fondant. Ooh, this is a very pale green fondant. It's very similar to my Frankenstein's cake. So it's like a, like a cricket field green. Yeah, you can already see the ugly. I didn't even add any details and it just looks terrible looking. Good job. Ooh, this nose I think was a little too big for what I initially had planned But it's okay because it's ugly again When you're trying to create something ugly It doesn't even really matter if you mess up because it's still gonna come out the way you want it to Now I wanted this witch to be like a billion years old so that meant as many wrinkles as I could put into it Gave her a brow bone just enhanced that ugly brow bone. Ooh, you look terrible. You've been baking in the sun? Is that why you have all these wrinkles? Oh god. Too much vitamin D, I think that's what's happening. Now the wrinkles on this cake took a lot more time. I actually googled a lot of pictures of old people. <laughs> just, just so I knew where the wrinkles were flowing on their face because I wanted it to look authentic. You know, I didn't just want to put lines everywhere. I wanted to make sure that the wrinkles I was adding are actually wrinkles that, you know, old people have. None of them looked as terrible as this though. Th this is definitely why we need Medicare for all. There's people walking around like this. <laughs> Needing treatment for something and they ain't getting it. <laughs> if I met this person in real life, I'd, I'd, I'd pay her copay. I added her eyes with a little bit more wrinkles. I wanted them to like stick out. So they're like coming out of her head almost. Then I added her teeth. You know, even though she's a witch and she's ugly, she's got m most of her teeth still. That's impressive. That's a full grill. I think adding the gum line is always my favorite part just because I didn't used to add it this way. I used to put the gums first, put all the teeth in, but now it's just like on top of all the teeth. Just a small strand of fun to go on top. Ooh, and then we added her nose. Look at that. Oh, it's terrible looking. It's so pointed. Oh. <laughs> I'm grossed out, but I'm also very excited. I painted her entire face green uh, just because she has a lot of wrinkles and a lot of crevices that I wanted all of the food coloring to like fall into. And then I just wiped it off with, uh, I think like it's a cotton pad, but I had to soak it in magic sauce just so that it wouldn't stick to the cake. Now she's terrible looking, but guess what? She lives right next to a Sephora. So she's putting on some makeup. She's act, She's gonna accent her eyes with a little bit of yellow. Some purple eyeshadow. Ooh, I see you. Maybe she had a base of Clinique underneath just to hold everything together. This makeup's working real hard. What the, oh God, it's so terrible. <laughs> so terrible. I don't even know. How did I do this? Oh my God, why did I do this? Oh, I love that she has a little bit of blue, like, on her eye. And I want her to have, like, uh, what is it? Glaucoma? Is that what it is? She has, like, a hint of glaucoma. Oh, and then she got some of that Maybelline lipstick. Look at that. How beautiful. Oh. You know you gotta have some rosy on them cheeks. <laughs> some of the stuff I say, man, it just, make, it just cracks me up. Now, I was just focused on the head and I wasn't sure how I was gonna fit this into my fridge if I created the witch's hat with cake as well. So that's why I just created the witch's hat with fondant. I wanted this to be a little bit more dark, a little bit more grim, so I went with a black hat, with black rim. And then some very old person-y gray hair. I wanted her to be like, almost like Golem. You know, she looks kind of like a green Golem, right? 
And last but not least, moles. She needs to have a lot of moles. Witches always have moles, so I made sure to add some on her chin, on her nose, her eyebrows. And voila, my terrifying witch cake was complete. Look at that! <laughs> You're never gonna be walking down the runway of a fashion show, that's for sure. This looks terrifying! I love the way that this came out. Now I'm curious, which one of these cakes do you like better? Do you like the cute version or do you like the terrifying version? I like the cute version, but I love all the makeup detail that I added to the terrifying version. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know what other cute and terrifying cake you'd like to see me make next. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!